Hello and welcome to Minutes with Megan. I am so excited to be kickstarting this new series on my channel and future podcasts. Yep, I said it, your girl is gonna start a podcast after Chad have been in my ears for years about doing it. Let's dive into what today's video is about before I start rambling. So first things first, I am going to be sharing today why I got into the real estate industry. If that interests you, stick around and stay tuned. So first thing first, to all my family members, hello, welcome back. To all the new people that are here that click this video, hello, welcome. We are so happy to have you. I am going to do my best to show up weekly, but I'll be honest, life be life. And so let's dive into it. We're talking about my real estate journey, my real estate career, and how I even got into it. And it's really three key things. So the first thing are my parents. My parents were in real estate for as long as I can remember. Honestly, they had multiple investment properties and on the outside looking in as a young, young woman back then, I didn't want no parts of it. I thought that investing in real estate did nothing but give you access to tenants who vandalized your property, didn't do right by you, wouldn't pay on time. And that just wasn't what I was looking for. It wasn't until I started asking more questions as my mom settled the different things and sold the different properties of real estate her and my father had after his passing that I really understood a little bit more about real estate and I didn't have such a bad taste in my mouth about it. What you don't know is what you don't know and sometimes the fear of the unknown can force us to not pursue something force us to not look into something force us to not maneuver and pivot that was like the first little nugget of how real estate came up and in my mind and kind of navigated its way into my life the second thing that was super real estate related that really kickstart my journey and why I decided to get into real estate was buying my first house and once I got my big girl job I wanted to transition from renting to owning something and my mom is big on numbers. She's a data analyst and she's always looking at numbers. And she was explaining to me like, you're already paying this. You can pay this and own something or pay a little bit more and get a lot more, but still own something. As a 20 year old, that went in one ear and out the other, but then finally something stuck. And it was time that I pursued my first journey to buying my first home. And as I navigated through that process, we'll have to actually talk about that on another video, another segment. As I navigated the process of buying my first home, it took so much time because I was very patient. It took about a year and I was prepping up things I needed to do like savings and just get in school together, get in my job set and that offer letter prepared for the loan docs and all this other stuff. But what I learned as I went through it is that I thoroughly enjoyed the process. The looking at the homes, the back and forth of the negotiations, the contract paperwork. And then I started asking my agent questions about her day-to-day -day life. Do you do this every day? Or is this part-time? Like, can this be a full-time career? Because I hated where I was working and I was on a mission to find something that could put me in a place for growth, put me in a place where I could be challenged, more so put me in a place where I could have flexibility and a limitless potential income. That is when the light bulb went off and I was like, Megan, you should go to school to be a real estate agent. Like you can do this. Your agent is telling you everything that she does and it correlates to what you're doing now. And she's telling you you have the personality for it. That correlates to what you're already doing, talking to people, educating people, connecting with people. And it just seemed to be a no-brainer so I took my butt to school online while I was still at my nine to five don't let people tell you you have to quit your nine to five first to start your business but you do have to really dive in and focus on it and let that nine to five go or any other distractions to let it catapult forward it's very hard to juggle multiple things and have them all succeed long story short I got my license shortly after buying my first home buying my first luxury car and getting my first real big girl job and then I quit that job that's another video for another day or another segment for another day, however you want to say it. So then the third thing that kind of catapulted me into real estate and why I wanted to get in real estate. So we had my parents, we had my own journey, but the third thing that really still to this day that melts my heart is the impact it has on others. When you're a real estate agent, a real estate broker, a realtor, you are doing a job and providing a service to people that they are going to remember for the rest of their lives. This is the most one of the most largest purchases people will ever make. One of the most stressful things you can do in life is move or buy a house or sell a house. To be a part of that, to be invested in somebody else's 
well-being and livelihood and just journey is so heart melting to me and I'm an emotional person but it's so beautiful prime example is even to this day the clients that I do have we're so close I went to a client's wedding just this past year house warmings, baby showers birthdays you name it I'm there okay I'm pulling up with some food and I'm leaving with a plate so seriously it's just so great to be connected and I'm such a people person so being able to impact people's lives through my career through my job really was the spark that had me want to catapult this business and work with more people and grow it and grow it and grow it because I saw a lack of people not helping people honestly that looked like me whether that's young black minority a woman and so I wanted to provide the utmost extraordinary service to everybody I don't care your age I don't care your race I don't care your gender I don't care any of that your financial status nothing I want to educate you on the process of buying a house and selling a house and then guiding you through that journey the reason that I want them to come to me is so they know that they or me and my team now because we've grown and so they know they're gonna be well equipped well educated and well cared for through the entire process they don't just gain somebody to work for them they don't just gain a real estate professional they gain truly a business partner and family member for life okay so if you rocking with MWM team just know we family over here it's crazy to look back to see how far I've come and I'm just so grateful my parents introduced it to me that I went through the process myself of buying my first home selling my first home and then the true impact that I'm able to provide to other people to other families it is just so rewarding and I feel like life isn't really fulfilled unless you're doing something for others in some type of way whatever it is that you're good at find a way to impact other people's lives with your gift everybody has a guy giving gift and talent we just sometimes have to dig deep to find what that is and figure out ways we can channel that I don't want this to be super long I definitely am super excited about showing up consistently and sharing more content with you that's real estate based, educational based, work related, all the things. And even dive more into the podcast segment that I'm excited to be starting this spring. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you've watched this video to the end, like literally, I love you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss a video. Last but not least, I don't wanna miss anything. I'm very active on Instagram. If you aren't already following me there, at Megan Jones, I would love to connect with you there as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.